Oh yeah, he's deep. Nice guy. So I thought I would put together the the set on how I did that so that you could see how I make the set. Um, You've got your cattle trail coming down through here. I just showed you guys that uh, Beautiful beautiful trail. I already know they're using it If you want to know what I was using I use uh, Cletus's Bobcat gland and then I'm using Ed's high hills gland and then I'm gonna use some coyote urine, so I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna reset that so that you can do it too and uh it's a good set. It produces well for me. And Okay. So, he left me a nice dookie. I'm going to keep that. Put it over here for now. And I'll show you how I'm going to use that in the end. Take the duff. And I'm just going to kind of move it to the sides. I'm going to reopen up my trail. Mostly just the duff for now. We're gonna put it up here. We're gonna re redefine this trail. And then we'll get to the dirt next. My trap bed is right here. So that's where it was. It's gonna have a little bit of dirt work to do to get the trail back the way it was. I'm just gonna kinda funnel him back to the trail. Now Ed would say, and I'm quoting Ed, that the nice thing about the trail set is that you're giving the coyote one less opportunity to make a decision. His feet are already right here, and that's why I like this set. I'm not making him commit to my set that's a couple feet over. You're taking one less step of the decision-making process out of the coyote. So that I think that's pretty much what he had taught. And that's why I like it, is that he's already moving down the trail, and I'm just gonna slow him down enough so that I get a good deep catch. Okay, I got my bed all, uh, it's about two inches down, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put dry dirt on the bottom, because I feel like the dry dirt helps, helps me pack in the, the trap. And then I'm gonna put peat moss on top of that, because I want this set to be working a lot longer if I can, if we get a little bit of weather. In my state, we get a lot of weather. It's par for the course. Now, when I set this, I hope you can see that. I know there's a shadow here. I like to set this with the pan going this direction. It's just kind of my preference. I'm gonna go ahead and get the trap set real quick. And I'll show you the next process. All right, I'm gonna get ready to put my pan cover. I'm going with, uh, landscaping fabric right now it seems to be working pretty good i might have told you it was a kendall's trap this is a bridger number three offset i don't remember if i said that or not and then after i put the the, the peat moss on there i sprinkle a little bit of dry dirt the peat moss itself is so light and fluffy when the wind will hit it it'll blow off so that's why I put a little bit of dry dirt on top of that. And from here, you probably can't see a lot of that, but I wanna make sure that it doesn't wobble and I pack in the sides. That's one of the, the greatest advantages to peat moss in my opinion is the weather. It keeps your trap working longer uh, than dry dirt. It does kind of repel the, the moisture, but the bad thing of it is it's hard to um it's hard to bed a trap in it so you get the best of both worlds kind of you just okay so i feel like i've got it pretty well bedded down there and now i'm gonna kind of take my wisp room i'm gonna make it part of the trail I got my gonna start opening up my trail now And the bad thing is that it has kind of a bowl, bowl look to it. I try to get that bowl out of that as best as I can. 
Okay. Now comes the next process is I'm gonna start working the dirt. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now I'm gonna start dragging that in here. <clears throat> He's a little froze today. Ed says you want to lay it on real thick. Kind of confuses him. kneeling pad I always have some sort of a pad here it just helps my set clean keep clean and allows me to do stuff like this now I've got my trail about the way I like it now I'm gonna start importing my baits and lures Okay, from here, uh, the only way I know that we have, sometimes I'll put a, a cow duff right here. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my coyote dung right here. We're gonna spritz it with a little bit of coyote pee. Put it right there, about eight to 10 inches down. I'm gonna do a coyote gland. I'm gonna put it like right here. All I'm doing is slowing them down. It's on the upwind. That's on the the wind's coming this way, so it's on the upwind side. I just smear it, and then I'm gonna smear some other gland lure on the upside over here. Not a lot, just a little. I'm kind of hiding it a little bit. And um, that's my set. About 8 to 10 inches over here. 8 to 10 inches over here on the other one. My coyote dung. That's how I caught that coyote. That's really that simple. So that's the set. And I can see that from here. Because there's a catch circle now. But uh yeah really good effective set uh you got your your dung and then the, just the two glands and uh that's gonna keep producing so hope you guys like that hope you guys use it on your line it's a pretty effective set coyotes are already traveling down the trail all you gotta do is get them to slow down and uh you got them <laughs>